Mathematics 1 Specimen examination paper Question A6 Factorise the following cubic polynomial We're going to start by seeing if we can guess a value for x which gives the expression the value 0 So we'll draw ourselves a table You can see by looking at the expression that a value of x which is positive will always give a positive value for the expression So let's start at 0 when x is 0, each of the terms is 0 apart from 6, so the value is 6. So now we're going to try minus 1. If x is minus 1, we'd get minus 18 plus 66 minus 38 plus 6, which would then give us a value of 16. So now we'll try minus 2. Minus 2 cubed is minus 8, times 18 is minus 144. Minus 2 squared is 4 times 66 is 264 minus 2 times 38 is minus 76 plus 6 gives us 50 we'll try one more which is x is equal to minus 3 minus 3 squared is minus 27 times 18 is minus 486 minus 3 squared is 9 times 66 is 594 and minus 3 times 38 is minus 114 which plus 6 gives a 0. So that means that x minus 3 is a root. If x minus 3 gives a value of 0 for the expression then by moving minus 3 to the other side of the equal sign we get x plus 3 which is the factor. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to divide our original expression the 8x cubed and so on by the factor that we found. So we'll do this by algebraic division. Now the first question is what do we multiply x by to get 18x cubed? Well obviously 18x squared. So now we're going to multiply both terms of this factor by 18x squared and that gives us 18x cubed plus 54x squared. We now subtract these two terms from these two terms. The 18x cubes will cancel 66 minus 54 gives us 12x squared. So the next thing we do is to bring the 38x down. We now ask what do we multiply x by to get 12x squared? Well obviously the answer is 12x. So we multiply both of these terms by 12x giving us 12x squared plus 36x. We subtract this line from this line giving us 2x. So now we bring the minus 6 down and what do we multiply x by to get 2x? Well obviously 2 and we multiply both those terms by 2, subtract these two terms from these two terms and we get 0 as an answer. The remainder is 0, so x plus 3 is a factor of 18x cubed plus 66x squared plus 38x plus 6. So now the next thing we need to know is can we factorise 18x squared plus 12x plus 2. The first thing we notice is that each of the coefficients is even so that means we can take a 2 outside a bracket so we've got 9x squared plus 6x plus 1. You can probably see that 9x squared plus 6x plus 1 is 3x plus 1 squared. Let's do a quick sanity check to make sure that we're correct. We've got 3x times 3x which is 9x squared. We've got 3x times 1 which is 3x. We've got 1 times 3x which is another 3x which means we've got 6x and then we've got 1 times 1 which gives us 1. Now we multiply by 2 and we get 18x squared plus 12x plus 2 which is where we started. So now we can say that 18x cubed plus 66x squared plus 38x plus 6 can be factorised into 2 times these three factors. Part B says show your answer is correct. Well, we can do that by multiplying all the factors together. We think that uh, 3x plus 1 is a factor. So if we let x equal minus a third, which means that this factor goes to 0, and we put that into the original expression, if that comes out to be 0, then 3x plus 1 is a factor. So if we put that into the original equation, we've got 18 over minus 27, which is minus 0.6 recurring. We've got 7.3 recurring. 
we've got 38 over minus 3, which is minus 12.6 recurring, and we've got 6, which adds up to 0. So we can see our answer is correct.